hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to discuss jablonski diagram which summarizes various intramolecular photophysical processes that can occur after electronic excitation of a molecule it will give us basic understanding of fluorescence phosphorescence internal conversion intersystem crossing and vibrational relaxation before going to the Jablonski diagram, it is important for us to understand different electronic states, electronic excitation and intramolecular photophysical processes. Suppose we have a molecule M in ground electronic state denoted by S0. After absorbing photon in UV visual region, it can go to any excited electronic states s1 s2 s3 etc depending upon the energy of photon absorbed in the absence of interaction with another chemical species it can undergo two things intramolecular photochemical reaction to produce different molecules or it can change into different electronic state of the same molecule molecule from its lowest excited states that is s1 or t1 may return to the ground electronic state s0 depending upon whether there is emission of light or not the de excitation processes have been classified as radiative or luminescent and non-radiative here you should note that a radiative process is shown by a straight arrow while non-radiative one by wavy arrow these highlighted parts constitute jablonski diagram in a jablonski diagram in the left hand side there are the singlet states of the molecules namely the ground state s0 and excited singlet states s1 s2 etc on a vertical scale of increasing energy in the right hand side there are triplet excited states t1 t2 etc in the order of increasing energy in this diagram each bold horizontal line represents a different electronic state of the molecule each electronic state is associated with several vibrational energy levels represented by lighter horizontal lines photophysical processes are represented by arrows connecting the states as we know that a straight arrow represent a radiative process while a wavy arrow non-radiative process let's go through these processes one by one first is absorption vertically upward straight lines are used for absorption it can take place from s0 to s1 or any other singlet excited state this process is very fast and takes around 10 to the power minus 15 seconds because it is a spin allowed process as there is no change in electron spin during transition fluorescence vertically downward straight arrows from s1 to s0 are used for fluorescence it is also an spin allowed process and takes 10 to the power minus 9 to 10 to the power minus 7 seconds it is most commonly from S1 to S0 regardless of which singlet state is formed after absorption. This observation is one aspect of what is known as Casa's rule. The reason for it is that S2 and higher excited state generally undergo very rapid non-radiative transition to s1 since 
emission is normally from S1 so a fluorescence spectrum is not normally affected in its profile by the wavelength used to excite the sample. Phosphorescence a straight arrow downwards at an angle from P1 to S0 is used for phosphorescence because it involves change in multiplicity. Since it is a spin forbidden process, so it has relatively longer lifetime compared to the fluorescence. The lifetime of phosphorescence is 10 to the power minus 3 second to 10 to the power 2 seconds. Coming to the non-radiative decay processes, all are shown by wavy arrows. The first is internal conversion. It is a non-radiative transition from one electronic state to another without change in spin. For example, non-radiative transition from S2 to S1 and S1 to S0, T1 to T, T2 to T1. It has lifetime of 10 to the power minus 14 to 10 to the power minus 11 seconds. In contrast, the non-radiative transition from one electronic state to another involving change in multiplicity is called inter-system crossing. For example, non-radiative transition from S1 to T1 and T1 to S0. Its lifetime is 10 to the power minus 11 to 10 to the power minus 6 seconds. The third non-radiative transition is vibrational relaxation. In this, there is transition of molecule from higher vibrational state to lower vibrational state in a particular electronic state. In S1, S2 and T1, it can be represented like S. It is very fast process having lifetime of 10 to the power minus 12 to 10 to the power minus 10 seconds. That's all in this video. <coughs> Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.